I'm on Salad, and I saw The Boys, Season 1, Episode 3. It's by Eric Kripke. This episode kind of continues off with the, from the last episode, which, of course, there will be spoilers. Uh, okay, I just, I just love the opening shot. The opening shot, you get to see Huey, he's all bloody, he's being, uh, he's washing himself with a shower slash pressure hose. It's like, okay, cool, they're cleaning it up. And everyone else, uh, Frenchie, Frenchie is his name. Frenchie and Billy are both cleaning up the intestines of <laughs> Translucent. Cause you know, last episode his body kind of exploded. And they're like, yo, you're good, you can chill. Hugh is like, yo, how can I help? How can I help? Just trying to, like, involve himself a lot. And it's like, Huey, chill a little bit. You don't have to involve yourself. You just, you just killed a soup. Uh, you don't have to have any soup. You don't have to give away any soup or blankets anymore. Any soup blankets. Because you, you've killed one. A soup. Bad jokes, am I right? Anyway. So, of course, uh... They disable the tracker, which is good, and they have a box where they put all the body parts of Translucent, and they're like, okay, cool, we're gonna take this to the harbor or something. My immediate thought is like, oh, the deep's gonna see this. It's in the harbor. It's, it's what you're looking for, some mysterious package in the harbor. <sighs> They must know what they're doing to be just this sure that they know what they're up to. Ah, uh, boy. Also, I get to see some more relationship dynamic stuff. I mean, this is the entire show is just like relationship dynamics. Like, for example. Meanwhile, while you got the deep finding of the body. Wow. You get Starlight. Oh, she has a PR nightmare from last from the last episode. She was shown to have kicked the butts of some guys and the PR team's like, yo, this was a disaster. Turns out it was not a disaster at all. It was actually the best thing ever. Uh, she gained a lot of money uh, points, which equals money equals social cred. She got a lot of that. And a lot of people are like super big into her. She's a feminist icon. And honestly, just hearing uh, Starlight, she kicked the butts of guys. And it's now being called feminist icon. And men are praising her for it. it sounds very familiar. I can specifically relate to uh, Starlight in this. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, I just kicked some guy's butt and now all of a sudden I'm getting all this praise. This seems, okay. <laughs> Starlight's, Starlight's such a fun character. I love her so much. Starlight is so popular now that she has a new costume that is super revealing. And honestly, first seeing it, I was like, oh, this is pretty awesome. I would wear this. Starlight is like, no. I mean, she's from a small town wherever the hell. Uh, I mean, she's from small town Ohio, I believe. Ohio, somewhere, nowhere, anywhere lives in America. And, of course, she's like, no, I don't want this. I don't like it. And she's basically told by Madeline that, hey, if uh, you can press all cute and what not, but you're not going to do it on the 7. So basically, she's just threatening, if you don't wear this, you're going to get fired. I mean, makes sense. It's the industry. I, I would just simply wear it. Just like... Just like Starlight does. She does actually do the wearing. Uh, she even uh, has like this autograph table that she's autographing at. 
and there's like this little girl that comes up to her and she's just like uh, she's wearing this dress exactly and she looks super adorable and cute and she's like oh I'm gonna save up for the the your next one Starlight's like no I think that you I like yours better and she's like <laughs> taking the photo like this and she's like covering her boobies and then the entire crowd is like heckling her show off your boobs show them off they're pretty nice you know and of course she gets kind of like emotionally sad at this I mean I understand Star Starlight I I remember the first few times that I've been told hey show me your boobs I can remember the emotional sting, but Starlight, it's all okay. It's okay, Starlight. You're good. It's like, you just gotta think of it differently. Don't, stop being so negative. She, the entire time, she's like such a negative, sad sack. Well, a negative, like, anger sack, rather, because she's just like so mad about the 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 river or the deep the deep's involvement in any of it he's kind of a he's not good so she doesn't really like him that much so yeah there's that on the other side of things uh we get to see there's a race there's a big old race that's happening it is between a train and speed town Speed fast, gotta go fast. A speed man, he, they're gonna go race and, oh man, I also love the scene where you got Billy the Butcher and you also got Frenchie and they're like, hey, uh, we need to get into the apartment of A-Train. Wanna know why? It's because Everyone keeps talking about this Compound V stuff, and it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems weird and fishy. We gotta get some cameras into the computer, into the house. And she opens the door, right? She op she asks some basic questions. It's, you know, it's normally suspicious, so I'm like, oh, at that point, I'm like, yo, you go, girl. Even though, like, her knowing any of this happening and being like able to stop and like okay no you're not allowed to be in here would stop the plot or at least have another way to get the compound v but <laughs> she does like eventually back down and she's like okay yeah faster internet oh yeah a thousand that sounds big come in my house and they go come into a house by them i mean huey huey installs this camera software in which he can now watch his her webcam. She's uh, she's like a gorgeous model, by the way. She's real cute. She has a nice butt, and she's got a lot of erotic photos on her walls, which is uh w warm. It is warmer than lukewarm, but not hot to me personally. Uh, but she's she's like yeah, oh uh, yeah, I'm internet stuff, yeah. The router was totally installed, and then now they have the they have a front row seat to uh, get to see them making out. And A Train's got his mind stuck on this race that he's going through, which is uh, it's like okay, A Train, you're so so fixated on this race. How about you run? But A Train's like, no, I can't run, I can't run. Uh, I gotta take this compound V stuff, baby. And of course, she's like, no, you shouldn't, which is the responsible thing to do. But like, <sighs> A Train just like kind of guilts her into it. It's like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to be a B lister. Like, not even guilt her, insults her because like she's a B lister. She's like one of the. She's an archetype of a female, where you're like so close to success, but you're not there because of some reason, some, some reason, and we do figure out what the reason is later on, but we see, we don't see him pump up the compound V there, 
But we do see her pump up the compound V. He's at the race, he's racing, he won by like a, a good distance, and so he's, he's secure in the race. But there's also just like, there's so much going on with that compound V that she's like, oh, I need, I cannot resist it. I must take that compound V. And she even like injects into herself. I had to look away from the screen cause it's like, I don't like, I don't like needles. I don't like watching needles or blood or anything in media or like in person. Which is why I'm not a doctor. Uh, <laughs> so you have to, she's taking Oop, compound V now she's really strong she can lift like a bunch of 50 pound bar uh, weights well, at least like she's probably squatting at least 300 pounds it's impressive and she's just like yeah jacked up let's go a train also looks super jacked up as well and it's you know it's a sight also you, I should probably check in with homelander homelander is at this event where uh, they're they're at the race, and the whole the whole time Homelander's like trying to get with uh, <sighs> Denise. Yeah, that's her name, Denise. He's trying to get with her, trying to be like, why don't you love me? Why don't you? We are. Why aren't you dating? And you know, everyone's on all the time. Like, and get to as close to her as possible. She has to just smile. You're like, yeah, I love this. And then, like, as soon as she turns away, like, you see, it, it, she turns and, like, her frowns go sad. And it's like, yeah, okay, I, I see, I see the power play now. Like, you guys used to date and now he's just being really pushy on it. And honestly, that's not cool. But also, Homelander also notices Billy the Butcher staring at him. And Homelander is like super suspicious, and I'm also like, Billy the Butcher, are you trying to get him to notice you? It seems like you are. I mean, I I personally wouldn't advise doing that just because it's like, you know, he's Homelander. He can he can murder, death, kill you. Oh boy. There's just this like. There's a whole lot of just watching the cameras too. Back to the whole uh, not Billy the Butcher thing. But instead, they're watching the cameras. You get the landlord. The landlord comes by. Hey, we want the rent. It's already established like one prior time that the landlord has asked her for money. And she's like, oh, I can get it to you. And so the landlord has to go up to her. And she's got like them claws out. She has claws. That was, those are some terrifying claws. I do not want to get stabbed by those claws. But yeah, she let's see landlord in. She's like all hot and spicy and warm, caliente, and she's like, "Yo, come here. S -s -s um, you're going to be on the floor. I'm gonna be your dominatrix, and I'm gonna sit on your face." And I'm gonna sell in your face so hard that your brain explodes. She, she enjoys herself so much that she, uh, his head explodes and then she freaks out. And it's honestly like, when I saw this free face, I was like, no, I can see the brain in everything. Ugh, go splash in my face. I really don't like that. But I do love the amount of gore in this. Just, it, it's, it's an appropriate amount of gore. It's just enough to traumatize me. And not enough for me to just be like, ah, you know, it's just gore. There's gore everywhere. So, you know, it's, it's a good middle line. And then, we get to see the most funnest thing ever. Oh, uh, the, the suitcase from earlier has been discovered by one of the Deep's pals, which Homelander is like, yo, it's a poipus. You didn't even contact your poipus on poipus? S uh, SMH. But like, the Deep considers him a friend. And it's like, okay, uh, you, you were really good at talking to fish. 
Fisher, like people do you. That's good. Uh, they open the box with Madeline. Well, Madeline opens it, and it's like a bunch of guts with the it's spray painted like "We're coming for you." It's like yeah, it's translucent. You're being hunted, and then it's like this means war. And translucent is officially out. It's now the six. Got him. Wow. Just wow. Uh, that was a very impactful. There was like there was a lot of like exposition. Just like oh, there's a new thing called Compound V. We kind of got a hint at it, but now we get to see more of the effects. It's more of like a steroid, and it's important uh, performance enhancer, and it's like oh, we got a big old scandal on our hands because. We're finding out about all these dirty little secrets that no one knows about except for us. And honestly, I do like the the talk between Billy and Frenchie are fun. And oh, you know what I also need? I need to mention, uh, speaking of relationships, I need to mention Mother's Milk. Billy goes to get Mother's Milk. Uh, he's like this... Uh, a correctional officer, I think, yeah, a correctional officer in, like, prison. He's getting to the prisoners, but he does help to agree Billy the Butcher on this, like, heist to install cameras. And then when we get there, Frenchie and Mother's Milk really don't like each other. and They get into, like, an all-out, like, yeah, I'm gonna hate you, I'm hating you. But then Mother's Milk gets a call from his girlfriend. He's all lovey-dovey, and all the tension is now gone, and now Frenchie has something to, like, mock him with. And it's like, yeah, that's all Frenchie needed, which is, like, something to mock you with, so there's, like, kind of calm and cool and collected during this entire thing that's happening. Man, I like I like Mother's Milk. I also love his name. Oh man, I hope to see more of Mother's Milk in future episodes. So I gotta give this episode a solid 7.9 out of 10. If you like that content and more content at patreon.com slash ASC presents for $3 a month, you get some daily vlogs plus some extended mint salad sauce. $20 a month, you get one movie review per one month. So go check out patreon.com slash ASC presents. All other links are in the link tree down below. Uh, linkter.ee slash titsman salad. On my fansly, I'm answering all fans DMs. So go check out fansly.com slash titsman salad. Until next time, I'm in salad. So I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.